Hi everyone, this is Lori here from Lori Hooks. Welcome, thanks for hanging out with me today. So this video is um, a chat about um, a project that wasn't going too well and an acquisition that I did to make up for it as well as um, importing things into Canada from the States when they won't ship to us. So I will talk about the project and show my acquisition first because I imagine if you were in the States, the um, how you get it here part probably is not as important to you, unless you're just interested in, uh, you know, the weird things that we have going on in our countries in terms of shipping things around. So anyway, so I showed a few weeks ago um, my Eva cardigan, and I will, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. So the Eva cardigan, I will insert a picture here of the Eva cardigan. Um, and it is made well. I'll talk more about the yarn when I open my box because that way I'll have a, a, a yarn band. Um, but I purchased the colors that she used in her cardigan. And I guess just the changes in the color or the lot or whatever it is, these are the three colors. And you'll see in the picture that I posted that um, these two colors look significantly different on hers, but worked up, these look almost exactly the same. So I had worked up um, four of the stripes in the back panel and was not happy with the colors because these are just too equal and it looked like I have like one gigantic stripe that's these two and then a small stripe in the pink. Um, and I was just disappointed in the colors and how it was looking. So I decided to frog it and these are the balls from frogging. So yes, I did a fair bit of frogging. So what I'm left with is one striped panel, which is this one. And um, yeah, I frogged out four. Is there four? One, two, three. No, three of the size stripes out of the back panel. And that was the balls that I had left. So because the colors were too equivalent, I placed an order at Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby does not ship to Canada, but Hobby Lobby allows us to use our Canadian credit card to pay for our Hobby Lobby order. And, um, but they, you have to use a trick, some tricks to get it here. So let's show you what I got at Hobby Lobby first. So here's my box, not a big box. There's my box, my scissors and we'll open it up. So I did purchase this when yarn was 30% off, but it was not free shipping. Um, I was too impatient to wait for free shipping. Very impatient around here. Come on, open. I guess I can get all the way through on that one. There we go. So. Here is what I purchased. They sent me, oh, there's prices on here. Okay, good. So let's show you the yarn that I purchased instead of one of those two colors. So it is this color here. There's two of these donuts. This is Yarn B Soft and Sleek DK um, Low Pill Fiber, and it is 100% acrylic. They call it a three weight, although it's a little thinner than that. I would call it more like a sport. Um, and each one of these donuts has 478 yards. Yes, three weight, uh, recommended kneading needles, four millimeter, recommended crochet hook is 4.5. There's the two of them. 
So let's compare with my colors that I had. So I'm thinking that I'm going to use, where did I put them? Oh my goodness, such a mess. I'm going to put this box aside so I can see what I'm doing here. Oh, I threw it over here. Okay. Right now I have this project in my I Love My Dog bag. So I'm thinking I'm going to use these three together. So I hope that works out okay. I hope I'm happy with that. Um, the colors do look better in person. These They look a little washed out on here. The pink looks a bit washed out. But I hope I'm going to like the way these look worked up together. We will see. Okay, so that's my new yarn, my new yarn be yarn I got for this. And let's see what else I have in my box here. I didn't buy very much. Um, I also got, so the Yarn B Soft and Sleek DK, I paid $3.49 US for them. And I got two. And I got two of these. And these are, I love this cotton. Um, I love the um, Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. It is so soft. It is so nice to work with. I love these. The color on these, I believe, was parchment. Yes. Um, and these are 100% cotton. Four weight. Um, 100 grams. 180 yards. 165 meters. Looks like you can wash and dry it. Yeah, I think those symbols mean wash and dry. Doesn't really matter. So these are parchment. Um, I also got another, I love this cotton. This is a print. Color on this one is Walk in the Park. Are these the same size? No, it's less. These, this is 140 meters, 153 yards, 85 grams. The rest of the specs are the same. And I paid for each of these, I paid, sorry, I have my computer sitting over here on this side. Two, $2.79 for each of these. Okay, so that is the cottons that I got, not necessarily to go together. Um, and then I bought one of these, which is, I love this yarn ombre. The color on this one is denim. This is also a four weight, but it's hundred percent acrylic. Um, 142 grams, 252 meters, 230 yards, other way around, 252 yards, 230 meters. And it is a medium for weight and can wash and dry it. So that is, I love this yarn in the color denim. Then I got two of these. These are Yarn B Cozy Toes. And, oops, information on these. Color is multiverse. These are 1.75 ounces, 210 yards, 50 grams, 195 meters, and they are 93% acrylic, 7% polyester. I thought these had nylon in them. So clearly I was not paying attention. These are the same color, right? Multiverse, yep, they're the same color. They look different for some reason, but they are not, they're the same. So these are Yarn B Cozy Toes, and I paid $2.44 for each of these. Yes. 
And then I got a little, that little, I got a bag. This says, Handmade is Happiness. And that's the bag that I got. It has like a um, zip top on it. Um, the bottom's not really, sorry, it's loud. It's not really boxed bottom, it's a little bit boxed. So, I think I paid $4 for this. Yeah, I paid $4 for this. I don't know if I would have bought it if I was in person touching it because it's cheaper than what I expected. Not as well, not as nice as I expected, I guess. Yeah. So anyways, that is my Hobby Lobby purchase. And now let's talk about cost, how long it takes, and how I got it here. So, as I said earlier, Hobby Lobby allows you to use a Canadian credit card to pay for your purchase, um, but they will not ship it to our Canadian address. So there are some services out there that um, they basically give you an address in the United States, um, and you ship your item to that address. Um, it is a physical address. It doesn't have a, like if you're dealing with somebody who doesn't allow shipping to PO boxes, it's fine because you can put your box number, which is just how they know that it's you because, you know, not everybody has, unfortunately, there's multiple people with the same names. So they, um, they give you a box number to designate who you are. So you can put your box number either as part of your name on the address label or if who you're shipping with allows you to include a separate box number or a separate suite number, you can include it as a line on the address. So um, I've used different ones of these shipping services. Um, my dad got me into this because he does it a lot um, and he's used three different ones like years ago um because of where we live we're about an hour and a half from the border um and years ago you know you could cross the border with just a driver's license you didn't need your passport even if you were driving across so like years ago he would place an order like i remember one time he bought new tires for his car and he had it shipped to niagara falls and just drove down there one night and got it went to walmart and got groceries while he was there stuff like that um, you know, it was just something to do basically to drive down there and go get it. Um, whereas now you need your passport to cross, you know, you got all these extra things. Um, so you can have a service, bring it across from you, which actually works out to be a lot cheaper. So I used a service called Shipsy. Um, I placed my order with Hobby Lobby on... Where does it show what day I placed my order? Okay, I ordered on September 8th. Um, let me check my calendar and see what day of the week that was. September 8th. So September 8th was a Thursday. They shipped it, I believe, on the 12th, um, which was the Monday. And I got an email from Shipsy, which is who I used to um, who I shipped the box to, um, in the U S and Shipsy emailed me on the Friday saying that the box had arrived. And when I tracked the package, it had arrived at Shipsy's office in the States on Friday morning. They emailed me, um, late Friday afternoon that the box had arrived. Um, at that point I have to do a customs declaration to bring it across as well as give them a copy of my bill from Hobby Lobby. So um, you upload this information to their website and then they calculate tax and duties 
based on that and then charge you their fee. So in terms of cost for me to bring it here, um, my total order was $27.71 US. Um, they charged me only tax and they only charged me 91 cents in tax. And it shows it being on the on the item, not on my fee that I paid, which is weird. Let me just calculate that. Sorry, I'm on my computer right now. Six. So the fee they charge to bring your this package here, because it wasn't um, it was a small box, they charged $6.99 Canadian. So $6.99, how much tax would we pay on that? Yeah, so they charged me 91 cents in tax, which is actually that 91 cents is on the 6.99. It's not actually on my purchase. So we're allowed to bring, in terms of a package, you can bring a package, and I, th I thought the value was $28 Canadian, but it must be $28 US, that you can bring in and not pay um, duty and tax on. That's at least in Ontario where I am. Um, if you purchase more than that, like for example, if you purchase $30 worth of stuff, they charge you tax on the entire $30. You don't get the 28 off just because you, they waive it on that much. No, they just waive it if your order is 20, less than $28, which conveniently my order was $27.71 before shipping from Hobby Lobby. I did pay shipping because I didn't order this when it was free shipping or and I didn't order $50 worth of stuff so I paid Hobby Lobby charged me $9 and change to get it here US and then I paid $6.99 plus tax to Shipsy and Shipsy brought it across the border and had it available in their Mississauga location which is it's about 15 minutes from where I live, so I just drove over there and got it. They do have an option also to ship from their office, which you can have it shipped to the office closest to you here in Canada. They have locations in Mississauga, Ontario, Markham, Ontario. There might be a third one in Ontario, I'm not sure. Um, and then they have one in BC. And I thought there was talk about putting one in in the prairies, like in Alberta or something, but I... I need to go back and see what that said because I, I thought that they were going to do that but I I didn't see it on the address list anyway so it doesn't matter um, that's how I got my my order here that's how much it cost me and I picked up my order yesterday at Shipsy I didn't finish my customs declaration until Monday so the box left Shipsy on Monday this week and I picked it up on Wednesday. So that's not bad. Order placed at Hobby Lobby on the 8th and got it here at my house on the 21st. So it's not too bad. So that is my order from Hobby Lobby. Um, and where I'm at with my Eva cardigan also. That's the Eva cardigan update. So um, I think that's it for this video. Um, Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, if you could please like it, I would appreciate that. It helps me out. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to uh, receive notifications about my new videos that come out, I would love that as well. And I will see you next time on Lori Hooks. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Bye everyone.